start with our lessons No notification or exception So meet me by the way, Pinwillow Street Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com, out here with Mitch Brzee from Q, and we were having a conversation, basically talking about all of the poor Remington 700 rifles shoved in the back of gun safes, back of closets, because they get old, they have old antiquated stocks, people don't shoot them, to include ones that ultimately end up being used in gun stores, and we're like, how could we revitalize one? Turns out Mitch worked on just such a project. So here we have the side chick from Q, which will take any standard 700 Remington and give you a lot more features and usability out of the rifle. So to that end, we're gonna turn around. Right here we have Renaissance Firearms up here in New Hampshire. We're gonna go in, check the shelves, and see what we can find to drop in here. So right here on this used rack, we have a Remington 700, looks like 308. I'm assuming pretty much all these will fit. Yep, any Remington 700 uh, or Remington 700 clone that matches the same footprint uh, should work great. All right, caliber restrictions for the side chick? Anything that'll fit in a AICS pattern magazine. Um, so you got 308 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, 260 Remington. Um, we've also done some some testing with uh, the MDT mags for the 223. So we've had good feeding with 223 and 300 blackout. Sweet, all right. Well, looks like we are going to get ourselves a used Remington 700 in 308 with Vortex Diamond back for $399. Not so bad. Not so bad. We're out here now. We have our $400 rifle and optic combo used. Pretty awesome. And we're gonna gather a little bit of data. We have three different types of match ammo from Hornady, Black Hills, as well as Federal. And we're gonna take turns shooting some five shot groups with this guy, probably off of a bag. And then Mitch is gonna walk us through actually swapping this into his chassis, the side chick and we'll repeat and kind of see what we get. Well, this did come with a pretty awesome scope for $399 for a sick continuity. We're gonna go ahead and throw this Night Force on, throw it on here, see what we get, and then we'll obviously move this over to our chassis, the side chick. Mitch just finished up shooting his five shot group. Let this thing cool for about 10 minutes. It is now my turn.
over to our Hornady. Now both shot five round groups with all three types of ammo. Gonna go down range and see what we get before we throw this guy in the side chick. Oops. We shot some five round groups, three each, uh, with a Hornady Federal and Black Hills ammunition. These were your top ones, right? Which ones were which for you? So from top to bottom, we've got the Hornady top left, Federal and Black Hills. Right on. Pretty good groups. I was down here. This was my first group with the uh, Black Hills. Those little guys, don't worry about those. And then this was my second group with the Hornady and my last group with the Federal. All these five shot groups. Honestly, more than likely those were me. I don't know. Some of these outliers may very well have been input from basically loading that stock onto the sandbags. Don't know. What I do know is ergonomics are not there on that Just plastic stock. Very, very uncomfortable to shoot yes. the entire time. And uh, one of the things, like honestly, quick rant, I hate stocks like that. Pretty much every rifle ships with a stock that is literally made for perfect shooting position if you're shooting iron sights. And pretty much no gun that ships with those stocks has iron sights or even a provision for them. So we're gonna go back. Mitch is going to swap that guy out, throw it in the new uh, side chick and we'll see what we get. winning but a magazine that actually works let's do this some of those horns. the light I'm gonna finish up with my last five rounds of 175 grain Sierra match team. Alright. 
That was it. Good check. Em. I'd say things <laughs> cleaned up a little bit. Go over your groups. Overall, a whole lot more comfortable to shoot. I feel like I definitely tightened up my groups. Um, from left to right, we went with the Black Hills, Horley, and Federal. These were the groups Mitch shot, and we basically went one ammunition at a time. So he shot his with uh, the, we started with Black Hills, right? Yep, yep. This is mine with Black Hills, a little bit of horizontal stringing right there. That was my Hornady, and that I just finished up with my gold medal. Honestly, this speaks volumes to the side chick. Believe me, I was trying to get my hits over on that other piece of paper. <laughs> like, that happened. And whether it's a matter of interference with the actual stock, like putting input on the barrel, which we probably didn't have too much of because we are actually shooting off a sandbag. But if you have basically a crap stock and you load that thing on a bipod, you will absolutely put interference on the barrel. But no, I mean, between ultimately doing a good job free floating that and two, just the ergonomics that come with the side chick. It's an improvement. <laughs> Absolutely. Like significant improvement across the board. Spe like $399 <laughs> it's off the not rack so bad. earlier today. <laughs> but here's the thing. Shooting unsuppressed is not cool. And this guy has the know-how to the shop. To the shop we're gonna go. <laughs> so we will come back out and we will ultimately basically bring you part two after we have at it with the shop. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>